Thank you for supporting the Scleroderma Foundation, and thank you for agreeing to use our picture as your Facebook timeline cover. This video will walk you through the instructions for downloading the picture and installing it on your Facebook timeline. You'll see this picture here on the screen. It's a simple scleroderma logo with a link to our Facebook advocacy page. And the way you can download this picture is to go to the link that's popping up on the screen right now, orgspring.com forward slash scleroderma. Once you're there, you'll see the full set of instructions on how to download the picture and install it on your Facebook timeline cover. This is the same set of instructions which we are going through here in the video. Once you visit that page, you'll notice a general introduction and some information about the foundation. Then the first thing the instructions will tell you to do, as you can see here, is to download the image with some short instructions to do that. So to simply download the image, you'll click on the button that says Download Image. This will open the image up itself in another browser window. To copy this image, you will simply right-click, or if you're on a Mac, you can Command-click, and click Save Image As. When your file browser window opens up, you will then save it somewhere on your desktop or other area that is convenient for you to retrieve that file when we're uploading it to Facebook. The next step is to upload that picture to your Facebook profile. Now keep in mind, you'll need to have Timeline enabled on Facebook to be able to upload a picture and use it as your Timeline cover. If you don't know if you have Timeline enabled, the first thing that you should do is log into Facebook. When you log into Facebook, it's likely that you will be taken directly to your wall. Once there, you'll want to click up in the top corner on your name or your profile picture. That will take you to your home screen. If you have Timeline enabled, most likely Timeline will be your home screen. And it'll look like something like this in this picture. You have your profile picture here to the left, your name, some of your information, and then your Timeline picture is a very large picture in the front of your screen. If you haven't enabled Timeline yet, when you log into your Facebook page, it'll likely take you to a page like this, just a small icon picture in the left side of the screen with your tabs below that, and then your information across the top here. Again, you'll need Timeline for this picture to be able to upload it into that cover slot. If you've got Timeline enabled, you'll skip down below in these instructions to step number three. If you have an enabled Timeline, we're going to walk you through that now. Timeline is an update from Facebook. It's their next generation of graphical use for your Timeline profile. Right now, Facebook is rolling out Timeline throughout most of the country and in other areas of the world. Eventually, Timeline will be standard for all Facebook users, but there are still some users who have not converted over to the new graphical format. To get Timeline on your page, you'll follow the link facebook.com forward slash about forward slash timeline. And we'll take you there right now. So we will go to Facebook and we will log in with your username and password. And you'll see here this is our main wall. To see if we have timeline enabled, we'll just click on our name and you'll see here that I do have timeline enabled. And this is what it looks like, my large picture here, my smaller profile picture, and then the rest of my wall. If you don't have Timeline enabled, we will come up here and use that link mentioned in the instructions, facebook.com about Timeline. You'll notice the picture in the instructions. When you do come to Timeline, you will see this bar down here below, Cover Stories Apps. If you have not yet enabled Timeline, there will be a big green button here that says Get Timeline. I already have it installed, which is why I don't see it. But if you don't have it installed yet, you will see that green button right in this area where my mouse is. You'll click on that, and your personal profile will transition to a Timeline profile, which looks like this. When you first log into Timeline, 
you will see a page similar to the one that's on your screen here. You'll notice just a small profile picture, and then you'll see this button prompting you to add a cover to your timeline. So you will click on that. It'll give you a mention uh, about the rights and terms and regulations and conditions for Facebook. You can click OK after you read through that. And then it'll give you a choice to choose from within your profile photos to post as your timeline or to upload a photo. You will click Upload a Photo and you will navigate to the photo that you downloaded from the previous website. That was the photo you saved in a convenient place or your desktop. I have already uploaded that photo previously, so I will just click on Choose from My Photos and I will put it there. Facebook prompts you to drag or reposition the cover photo, but it has been designed to fit the exact position, so you can just click Save Changes. Once you do, it will be placed onto your timeline cover photo, and the rest of your information and timeline will be populated. This will now be your Facebook personal account page in the timeline view. When someone lands on your page, or searches for your name in the browser, this is the page they will see. And of course, right up front, they will see that you support the foundation. Of course, if you already have Timeline enabled through your Facebook account, you would just hover your mouse over your Timeline cover picture, and a little icon will pop over here that says Change Cover. You'll click on that and you'll have a few options to choose from. Like before, you'll have choose from your photos, you can upload a photo, you can reposition the photo or remove it altogether. So what you should do in this case is upload a photo. Just like before, you're going to be uploading this picture where you saved on your hard drive previously and you will insert that here into your cover picture in Timeline instructions and uploaded your picture correctly, your Facebook page and profile will look something similar to this. The picture will be up here in your timeline cover, your profile picture will be down here, and the rest of your information will be in your timeline. Again, we thank you for your support and we appreciate your help in posting our picture on your Facebook timeline. During our National Advocacy Day, we hope that many people stop along your timeline view our picture, and also link over to the website to get more information about the foundation. We also hope that you'll stop by our Facebook page, which is right here in the picture itself, and learn a little bit more about the foundation and what we do. We also encourage you to return back to the instruction page. Again, that was at orgspring.com forward slash scleroderma, and share the page with your friends and family so that they can also link up to our advocacy page and learn more about what we do. If you have any questions, feel free to check our contact page and send us a note anytime. Thank you again for your support.